Hello everybody and welcome to Art Smart. Today I want to just talk with you briefly about a very simple question that comes up quite a bit. So I'm going to answer this for many people that have left messages. The question being, why did cartoons stop or cease being shown in theaters? And uh, why don't we see that happening again now since there's been a lot of attendance boom in theaters? Well, this is a uh, relatively simple and complex depending on how you look at it. Uh, in the 1950s you started seeing a lot of production companies ceasing to show cartoons. Uh, a couple different reasons. One, television came around and people started watching cartoons on TV and so they didn't care so much if they got a new cartoon in a theater. Uh, attendance was down in theaters and so a lot of theaters cut costs where they could and cartoons were one of the first things to go. Uh, people were watching them on TV and didn't need them in order to go to see a, a movie in the theater. Uh, secondly, uh, a lot of theaters realized that they could show old cartoons cheaper. And so if they were trying to draw people in, they could say, we have a Bugs Bunny cartoon. And most people didn't care or notice that they were watching a Bugs Bunny cartoon from five years ago. So that was part of the reason why you started seeing uh, less and less cartoons. Uh, the third and probably most important reason was the end of block booking. Block booking was essentially a practice done by studios where they were able to own all kinds of theaters on a, a regional basis or sometimes even a national basis. And they could guarantee that uh, certain films were going to be profitable because in certain areas they only had one or two theaters. And if they owned the theaters in that area, more than likely people were going to go and see a movie, regardless of what movie they showed. So you could almost guarantee that uh, films would be profitable, and you could say the same thing about cartoons. They could guarantee that those cartoons were going to make at least some money for the studio because they owned the theaters that were essentially um, showing them, or they had heavy influence on those owners in the area saying, if you don't show this, we are going to show it in one of our own theaters, and you're going to lose out on potential money. So that was uh, something that was very popular up until the Supreme Court said, uh-uh, can't do this in the late 1940s. By the time the 1950s hit, the crunch from all of these different economic things that were happening started really pressuring theaters and they just started removing cartoons. Uh, it, it got cheap for uh, many years. You saw Warner Brothers, uh, Walter Lantz, Paramount, they continued to make cartoons well into the 1960s and with Walter Lantz even into the 1970s. But in general, the cartoons kept getting cheaper and cheaper to the point where nobody cared if they got a cartoon or not. In fact, sometimes the cartoons were so bad and so cheap, people were like, why even bother? I'd rather not have a cartoon. And so eventually they just petered out. Today, People are not uh, showing uh, cartoons in uh, most theaters before films simply because we don't expect it. And so a lot of studios that are trying to make sure that they are turning a profit are essentially looking at their uh, box office and saying to themselves, is there any real benefit to us showing a cartoon? In most cases, no, people don't expect it. It's been long enough now where people pretty much look at it as cartoons are something that you see on TV or elsewhere. You don't see them in theaters. And so it's not really a box office drive. Uh, there are a few exceptions, like Pixar has basically uh, become known for having a short before their films. And so people would probably be upset if they didn't have it. But in general, most people don't expect a cartoon or care if there's a cartoon. And I don't see this changing much. Uh, they did try in the 1990s and into the early 2000s to have shorts shown again, especially Warner Brothers, but the shorts were not very well received and uh, they were not uh, seeing any real profits from the few that were released. And so they gave up on that relatively quickly. I don't see it changing anytime really soon. Uh, theaters on a, a national basis trying to show these shorts in their theaters or new shorts. So it's this unfortunate thing that's happened. I hope it changes because I love seeing a cartoon before a movie, but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully this explanation makes you a little bit more art smart and you'll continue to come back for more cartoon and art commentaries. Bye-bye.